welcome student in the last video we had seen the compare validator so now we are looking at regular expression validator and custom validator so first we will work with the concept called as regular expression validator a regular expression validator is been used for a pattern matching test what do you mean by it it means the email address must be in a valid form the mobile number must be of a 10 digit so these are termed as what are patterns so you can create a pattern that is termed as regular expression and that can be implemented in a validator named as regular expression validator so here it comes for testing it i am just planning to take one label so i just taken one label for a mobile number so i provided uh, a four year i provided mobile number acha please remember that regular expression validator does not make it compulsory to enter the value but if you enter the value then the value must be in a format given inside the regular expression fine so agar compulsory karwana hai value to aapko required field validator dalna hi padega so here it comes i am interested in keeping one text box for accepting the mobile number and i want that mobile number must be of 10 digit neither less than that nor greater than that then for that reason i am implementing the regular expression validator over here and going to its properties the first important property is control to validate so i had implemented a control named as text box 6 further i had given error message as must be 10 digits moving ahead i want a text to be given if you know that if you are not providing text then error message will be appeared on a control as well as in a validation summary so let it be as it is now i need to set up the validation expression so go for the property called a validation expression and you set up the validation expression now these are some predefined validation expressions are there like for a mobile number you will get the validation expression over here as internet email address so this is termed as a regular expression you need to build it now i am just building the expression for a mobile number it is of 10 digit so i will build the expression by saying backslash d d for digit and in the brace bracket i am providing 10 it means it has to be compulsory 10 digit suppose i am providing over here a b c then it means the value must be started with a b c followed by 10 digits followed by 10 digit suppose i am planning to provide over here backslash d2 hyphen backslash d10 it means first provide two digit any two digits followed by hyphen followed by 10 digits so just go to google and find out the ways by which you can build validation expression even if you can go to our notes also you can find the way by which you can build your validation expression and that expression need to be updated over here these are some predefined expressions are there you can use the predefined expressions or you can go for creating your own custom expression now give a click on okay so now i will just test this regular expression so when i am testing this regular expression what it will do uh, if i am trying to go for giving a click on a submit you know that the code the page behind code or code behind file even handling code will not be executed first it will say that validation must be successful So if I give a click on this, these are what compulsory validators. So I'm providing some name. I'm providing the age. You know that age validation with us is eighteen, seventeen to twenty-five. Family income it need to be above one lakh rupees. It is now above one lakh rupees. Password must be same. And a mobile number I provided one two three. It says must be of ten digit. I just say one two three four five six seven eight. Must be of ten digit eight nine ten eleven twelve. Must be of ten digit. And if I am removing this two digit, now it is okay for him. Sir, ये कौन सा मोबाइल नंबर हो गया? Validation expression will not be checking whether it is a valid mobile number or not. What is the expression you had given? You had given expression. It must be of ten digit. Had we given expression, it should be started from nine eight. We had given expression. It is only of what year? Ten digits. So it is only checking. It should not be less than ten. It should not be more than ten. So this is the way by which you can implement a good validation 
control called as regular expression. Now it's the time to work with the option which is termed as custom validator. Now what is exactly you mean by the custom validator? It means you can write your own logic for a validation. So I didn't understood it. For example, this is what my registration form is and data is going to be stored inside my table. So when I'm storing the data inside my table, I don't want the email address must be uh, duplicated. I want email address should not be duplicated. I want the username should not be duplicated. I want user ally should be unique. ऐसा कुछ तो वैलिडेशन है कि जो सर्वर साइड में जाके डेटा को भी चेक करके आएगा और उसके बाद में ही आपको अलाउ कर देगा सबमिट करने के लिए तो अगर आपको आपके हिसाब से एज पर योर ओन कंडीशन यू वुड लाइक यूर यूर कंडीशन नॉट गेटिंग सेटिस्फाइड बाय कंपेयर और बाय रेंज और बाय रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन देन यू हैव टू यूज द कंसेप्ट नेम्ड एट कस्टम वैलिडेटर नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल आई आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन आस्किंग द यूजर अ डेटा व्हाट इज द डेटा व्हिच आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन आस्किंग हिम चलो यार एक लेबल लेते हैं एंड हियर आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन asking as a roll number so text is what roll number any 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 particular roll number now what i am interested the roll number must be even number if it is the odd number if it is the odd number then data should not be submitted now if i am saying it should be only a even number then that cannot be compared with compare validator that cannot be done with the range validator that cannot be done with the regular expression so i need to implement my own validation it will be checking whether a roll number is a even number or not so let us see how we can implement this compare validator first i am taking a text box for accepting this roll number and in front of the text box i am using my custom validator now inside the custom validator i have given an error message that invalid roll number or i can say must be even number or i can say roll number must be even number fine so important property is error message along with that a control to validate so i am implementing control to validate is what here text box 7 what i am interested if the roll number entered by the user now whether the entered number is the even number or odd number that need to be checked na so we need to write the code for it so where we have to write our custom validator code so double click on this custom validator you will come to the event called as server validate which has two arguments one is object as source as well as server validation event arguments as args and you know that my validation control is linked with what text box 7 so here i am just writing in text equal to in dot parse in the bracket args dot value so this means what the text box text will be stored in integer format in a variable named as x so instead of that args dot value i am writing over here text box 7 dot text it is okay to me i don't mind you can take the value from the text box 7 also not a issue to me now what next i want i would like to check whether the x is valid or means even or odd so i am just specifying over here if the x mod 2 is it equal to equal to 0 if the modular x is going to be 2 is 0 then do one thing i am providing args dot is valid now is valid if you can see it is get as well as sets so i am saying args dot is valid equal to true hai na to ye true hoga इवन नंबर है और एल्स लिखता हूं मैं यहां पे ए आर जी एस डॉट इज वैलिड इक्वल टू वॉट फॉल्स फाइन सिंपली आई जस्ट मेड द ए आर जी एस इज वैलिड ट्रू और इज वैलिड फॉल्स नो प्लीज रिमेम्बर दैट दिस वैलिडेटर टिल द टाइम इट इज नॉट वैलिड टिल द टाइम इट इज नॉट वैलिड दिस कोड शुड नॉट बी एग्जीक्यूटेड टिल दिस मोमेंट वी डोंट रिक्वेट वरी अबाउट इट बिकॉज अभी तक तो क्लाइंट साइड में वैलिडेशन हो रहा था but now the validation is happening at the server end so till that and this validation is not successful you are not supposed to execute the code so you require to write a small code over here saying if page dot is valid 
is equal to equal to true then only write the code or in the reverse way i can write if not page dot e is valid it means if it is not valid then do one thing just say return return means what it will come out from the function itself so below given code will be executed only when the page is what valid below given code is been executed only when the page is what valid now i am just trying to test it so i run the page i had run this particular page is ask me about the name now other validation control i will try to make it successful by providing the appropriate values the name is been entered the age is been entered the family income is also been entered uh, password is been entered re enter password is been entered mobile number is 1234567890 and here roll number is been entered by me as 21 you know it is a odd number it is not a even number but if i give a click on sign up see the registration page successful code is not been executed why because the custom validator says that validation is not yet successful now again i am entering the password as a and re entering the password as a and instead of 21 i am just providing 22 and given a click on sign up now you will find everything works fine and my code behind code is also been executed successfully so that's all class so currently in this video we had seen our regular expression validator as well as custom validator now in my next video that is the last part of the validation we are going to understand about validation group so stay tuned with us and please subscribe the channel thanks a lot